Hey, what's up? It's the Nerf Herder, and this is the My Geek Box. The month is December 2016, and My Geek Box does not run any themes. But, um, they tend to be really good. Um, they don't even really release any, like, hints or spoilers. It is a true mystery box. I mean, what you get in there could be anything. So, um, usually they do really good. Um, I think they lowered their prices recently. They used to be $30 a month, but I just checked the website. And now it is $20 a month. So I don't know if that just happened. Maybe it's a, a sale running on. But um, if you're interested in getting this, $20 a month is a good price for this box. So let's crack this thing open and see what's inside. All right. Let's see here. I feel a shirt. We'll pull that out first. And it says, straight out of Compton. Oh, I'm sorry. Straight out of Gotham. So that's really cool. So yeah. Um... Dude, I, I'm like an NWA fan, so, you know, like, straight out of anything is, like, all me. And, uh, so it's Batman, so straight out of Gotham. I could probably, like, freestyle a rhyme for you, but I'm not gonna, you know, uh, cause, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just a, a, a old-ass white boy, so it ain't gonna happen. But, um, yeah, that, that is a cool shirt. And, um, yeah, I'll definitely wear it. Um, I've been liking, I've been really digging the shirts that they've had lately. Last time, last month was a Stranger Things, uh, shirt that said, friends don't lie or something like that. Really awesome. I think, you know what? It's right here. Look at this. So that was last month's shirt. So I'm really, really digging the shirts that they're sending lately. So, uh, very cool. So there is the first item. All right. I feel some boxes in here. Let's go with... Let's go with this one, and this is, this is, well, it's Judge Dredd, so it's a cult vinyl, 2000 AD, Judge Dredd figure, so I've never, who is this by? Planet Replicas, I've never ever seen one of these before, uh, but he's really cool looking, so he's, he's kind of Dorbs like I'm going to pull him out, I usually leave everything in the boxes, but um, I got to take a closer look at this guy, so... He's, he's very Dorbs-like in shape, I guess you could say, in simplicity, but he's made by another company, and um, I like him a lot better than the Dorbs. He's got his little gun, uh, which looks like it's removable. I don't want to pull it out just in case it's not, but uh, yeah, so his little hands move, and uh, does his head turn? No, it doesn't. But, so, so that's cool. I like that. It's a unique figure that... Um, like, like I said, I've, ne I've never even heard of cult vinyl before, and I mean, I've, I've got a crap ton of vinyl, so that's really cool. I found a new type a type of vinyl figure, and um, yeah, very awesome. So, this is, this is a good start for this month. What else do we have? So, there's another box in here. I'm going to pull that out, and it is, oh, that is awesome. So it's a um, Homer Simpson Buddha. Now I already have, if this is the gold one, I already have one of these. But it's like, is literally one of my most favorite uh, pieces there. And he's hanging up there. And um, I left him in the box forever. And then I finally had to take him out and put him up on the shelf. Um, so is this a gold one? If it's another color, I would just freak because that would be so cool. Uh, I don't know what it is about the Homer Simpson Buddha. I just, I, I just think it's like the funniest thing. It's just, I love it. So come on, open up. Look at that. I tore the thingy off and it didn't even open. So uh, we're gonna have to resort to some scissors to uh, open that. And it is a gold one. So. Uh, if you haven't seen these, these, I love these. This is from Kid Robot. And he has some accessories. Where are your accessories? They're there. <clears throat> so it's the gold Homer Simpson, and he's sitting on a donut. And I have seen, like, a full-color version of this, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but maybe I'm wrong, but I, I think I did. Uh, but anyway, so he has these beads and a pretzel, too, that go in his hands. Uh, actually, I'm not. I'm just going to pull this one and leave. Ugh, I can't reach. So here's my really dusty Homer Simpson with his pretzel and his beads right there. Uh, uh, this way I can leave these in the bag so that they don't 
uh, flop around and get lost because I don't know um, what I'm going to do with this yet. I love this figure so much that I might just keep him, but I might give him away because I have double. So I'm torn. I love it. So this is, this is an awesome box. I like this. So there you go. And next we have the spoiler cards. So they have been, last month they started, I think it was last month, they started with the spoiler cards. Um, which for a long time, there was just nothing in there, so uh, you had nothing to go by. And we got a Deadpool 2017 calendar. So um, that's really cool. I actually need a new calendar here. This is perfect timing for it because uh, the new year just started. Uh, sometimes they send them too early, sometimes they send them too late. But right now, like, you know, I just started the new year and I uh, realized that, you know, I don't have a current calendar and it's Deadpool, so I'll take it. I like that. And next, feels like this might be the last item, which is a heavy book. So this is a uh, turncoat. Uh, it's a T-Pub uh, graphic novel. Turncoat is a scabrous and sat satir sat satirical, sat satirical satire. I can't say the word. Uh, look at the Cape Eat Cape World of Superheroes. Highly recommended. So um, I will definitely give this a read. The artwork looks great in there. And um, I don't know. It's kind of cool. This guy's got like a beer belly on and a mask. I don't know how well that shows up. But um, definitely a cool looking book. I will definitely read it. But I think... Uh, yes, that is all that's in the box. All right, so let's recap this. So this is the Turncoat graphic novel right there. We have the Deadpool 2017 calendar. And this is the variant Homer Simpson Buddha vinyl. So this is the, the gold one is the variant edition. And I was right, there is like a full color one or something like that. Um, but still very cool. Love that. Uh, so now this, this cult vinyl dread figure, this is a brand new range of cult vinyl figures. It's a geek box exclusive. It's launching right now in the box. Here's number one of many pop culture collectibles. It says stay tuned for the next one and be one of the first to build your collection. So it looks like they might start including these in the, my geek box every month. It's it sounds that way. I mean, don't quote me on that, but I think so. And finally, the straight out of uh, Gotham. <laughs> I, I, I want to say Compton, but straight out of Gotham, uh, Batman kind of NWA mix-up shirt. And that was the My Geek Box for December 2016. Um, that was a that was a really good box. I like that. I like their new price. I don't know if that's here to stay or not, um, but I'm on the website right now. It says $19.99 per month. So if you're interested in subscribing to the My Geek Box, I've got a link down below there for you. Check it out. And that's all I got to say about that box. All right. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and visit my website, www.thenerfordablog.com. That's all for today. So until my next unboxing. Goodbye.